My name is Kaylee, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the latest discovery from Spain, where researchers have discovered the oldest known evidence of a human species in Western Europe. Is it possible that a previously unknown human species, or subspecies, roamed in Europe without us realizing until now? Well, yes, that's actually entirely possible. This video is sponsored by Mondly, but as always, more on the sponsor later in the video. This discovery will change our understanding of the very first human species who inhabited Western Europe, and this discovery may add another previously unknown human species to our evolutionary tree. So first things first, where was this discovery made, and is the location of the discovery significant? Well, yeah, the location of the discovery is definitely very significant, because at this very location, the previously known oldest fossilized remains of a human species in Europe were discovered many years ago, which belonged to a Homo antecessor. So the fossilized remains were found in northern Spain in the Atapuerca mountain range. This mountain range is located in the province of Burgos. The Atapuerca mountain range is among the most important sites for researching human evolution and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2000. So there are actually numerous archaeological sites in the Atapuerca mountain range, and the most notable are the Grandolina Galleria, Cima de los Huesos, El Portalón, and Cima del Elefante. If you've ever wanted to learn a new language, but you didn't know where to start, I've got some exciting news for you. Mondly is throwing an exclusive limited time spring sale. You can get a jaw-dropping 96% discount on lifetime access to all the languages Mondly offers by going to the link in the description or go to mondly.app slash history with Kaylee. Mondly offers access to 41 foreign languages that you can learn from 33 native languages. So whether your native language is Dutch and you want to pick up English or French or even unique languages like Farsi or Catalan, Mondly has you covered. With its smart chatbot providing real-time corrections, you can practice and improve your skills anytime. No human teacher required. Plus, you'll enjoy features like daily lessons, quizzes, and summaries of your progress, all designed to keep you on track. And the best part? You can even learn hands-free while cooking and cleaning or going about your day. Cima del Elefante was already quite famous due to the discovered bones belonging to Homo antecessor that were previously known as being the oldest bones of a human species in Western Europe, dating to around 1.2 million years ago. And it is actually here at Cima del Elefante that this new discovery was made as well, as researchers uncovered the fragments of a skull dating back to approximately 1.4 million years ago. So this discovery itself was actually made back in 2022, or 2022, when a student came across the bones during excavations. The bones that were discovered came from the left side of the face, specifically the upper jaw and part of the cheekbone. From the shape of the teeth, the researchers knew that the bones must have belonged to a human relative. So for the following two years after this discovery was made, the team conducted research on the bones, and they have now finally published their analysis, and they nicknamed the individual these bones belonged to as Pink, after, you know, Pink Floyd's dark side of the moon, and calling it the earliest human face of Western Europe. So at first, when they discovered these bones, the research team kind of assumed that these bones belonged to a Homo antecessor, even though these bones are actually quite a bit older than the oldest Homo antecessor bones that they previously discovered. But it turns out that the bones of the face they discovered are actually surprisingly different from that of Homo antecessor. So the researchers are now of the belief that it is unlikely that these bones belong to a Homo antecessor individual, as Homo antecessor seem to have emerged around 1.2 million years ago, which is nearly 200,000 years later. So the researchers are now of the belief that the fragments of this skull belong to a possible Homo erectus subspecies, or possibly even an entirely new species. Well, the actual official term the researchers have used is Homo affinis erectus, affinis being the Latin word for similar to. So the facial remains they discovered at Cima del Elefante belong to an individual from a species very similar to Homo erectus. But 
How is this possible? So I recently made an updated version video on the species of Homo erectus here on the channel, in which I explained that Homo erectus emerged around 2 million years ago and started to migrate out of Africa around 1.8 million years ago through the Levant area. There are many sites in Asia, East Africa and even Indonesia where Homo erectus fossils were discovered, showing us their clear migration pattern. But up until now, we have never discovered any Homo erectus fossils in Western Europe dating this far back. But it looks like we are going to have to update our history books when it comes to the first human species roaming in Europe. Instead of Homo antecessor, who was better known as the pioneer man, being the very first humans to inhabit Western Europe, it seems that Homo erectus, or at least a subspecies or species very similar to Homo erectus, were the first to inhabit Western Europe and were actually the true pioneer species. Unfortunately, because so very little of the skeleton remains nowadays, the researchers were unable to figure out if the individual it belonged to was male or female. But future paleoproteomic analysis of the tooth enamel, which has proteins that can indicate an individual's sex, may reveal this information one day. What is also important to note is that this is actually the third time this team has discovered hominin fossils in unexpectedly deep layers in this collection of caves. So the first time occurred in 1997, when bones belonging to Homo antecessor were first discovered in the Atapuerca mountain range, dating to approximately 850,000 years ago. The second time was in 2008, which occurred actually a couple layers above where this latest discovery was made, at Cima del Elefante. And this fossil dates back to 1.2 million years ago, which is currently attributed to be a Homo antecessor individual. But after this new discovery, it may turn out that this was actually also a Homo affinis erectus, as they might be the same species as pink. But bones weren't the only discovery made recently. The team also discovered stone tools here at Cima del Elefante in the same sediment layers as the fossilized remains of pink. The simple stone tools were made from local quartz, chert and limestone, and the team also discovered animal bones with cut marks created by humans as well. So it seems like 1.1 million years ago, Homo affinis erectus disappeared. And it's quite possible they lived alongside Homo antecessor for a short while in this area. But the most important piece of information that we know for a fact after this discovery is that these fossilized remains represent the earliest human fossil found in Western Europe up until now. And this research shows that a previously unknown human population inhabited Western Europe Something that we may have never found out if excavations didn't continue to be carried out in the Atapuerca Mountains. So once again, the Atapuerca Mountains reveal another piece of the puzzle that is our evolutionary tale. And of course, work in the Atapuerca Mountains and excavations at Cima del Elefante will continue, in hopes to discover more fossils to learn more about who these hominins were were, where they came from, and what interactions they may have had with other hominins in the area. So what do you think of this latest discovery from Spain? Are you as excited as I am about this previously unknown human species roaming around in Western Europe? Let me know in the comments down below. Before we wrap up, I want to thank Mondly again for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out their spring deal for 96% discount on lifetime access to all the languages they offer. Go to mondly.app slash history with Kaylee. I also got a new tattoo. Uh, it's a matching tattoo with me and my cousin. So uh, yeah, I got this two days ago, still healing. And of course I still have my beautiful owl and I got two tattoos on my legs for the people that often comment nice to see a woman without tattoos on YouTube I got four now you just don't see them really even I often forget that I actually have them so that's wonderful uh yeah so my cousin and I we grew up she lived a street in front of my dad's house and uh, we kind of grew up like sisters and we lost her older sister about two years ago and uh we had planned this tattoo for a number of years now, and uh, yeah, we finally did it. I got the night version, so I got the moon with stars and a night sky, and she got a sun with birds. It's beautiful, I'm happy, and I love it. And uh, if you want to watch more videos like these about like ancient humans and evolution and ancient history or new archaeological discoveries, then, you know, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, click that bell icon if you want notifications, and uh, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, 
or click one of the links in the description down below or click a video in the end card. I cater to you. And I would like to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It truly means the world to me. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.